guys welcome to my channel in today's video I am going to share with you how to crochet a bird so to make this bird I have used single crochet stitches and made this wings and tail separately and at the end stitch them together here I made total 17 round to get this size this is 3 inch in size you can use this bird in any of your crochet decoration so before we start to make this bird I would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to crochet this bird so to make this I am going to use this cotton thread here I am going to use two color but you can make this bird with one color also and you can use any thread of your choice I'm going to use this thin cotton thread and I am going to make two layer of this thread to give the thickness and for this thread I am going to use crochet hook of size 2.5 mm you will also need one stitch marker black color to make the eyes and you will also need some fiber filling first we are going to make this body so take your thread and make a ring here i'm going to use a magic ring if you are not familiar with magic ring i will give you the link above on how to make this ring so once you made this ring in this ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches so first make chain one and then six single crochets one two So like this you need to make total 6 single crochets so after 6 single crochets if you are working on a magic ring just pull this loose end to close this ring so round number 1 is done and we have 6 stitches now in round number two we are going to work continuously here we are not going to use slip stitch so skip your chain one and top of very first single crochet make two single crochets so one one more in same stitch So two single crochet i'm going to place the marker on my first stitch so i get to know this is the starting of round number two now on top of next stitch make two single crochet so like this we are going to repeat this stitches in remaining four stitches make two two single crochet and complete round number two so at the end of round number two you will have 12 stitches So round number 2 is done and we have 12 stitches now in round number 3 top of next stitch make one single crochet place the marker on your first stitch then top of next stitch make two single crochets So 
so in this round we are going to repeat this stitches top of next stitch make one single crochet then in next stitch two single crochet so like this repeat this stitches till your last stitch make one single crochet then two single crochet then one and two and complete round number three so at the end of round number three you will have 18 stitches So round number 3 is done and we have 18 stitches. Now from round number 4 to 7 we are going to work 1-1 one, one single crochet in top of each stitch. So at the end of round number 7 you will have 18 stitches. So top of first stitch make 1 single crochet. Now place the marker on your first stitch. Then top of next stitch make one single crochet. Then in next stitch one single crochet. So like this make one one single crochet and complete round number four, five, six and seven. So I have completed my seventh round and you will get this shape. Now in round number eight. We are going to decrease one single crochet so to do the decrease take the front loop of next stitch then take the front loop of next stitch like this so you will have three loop on your hook now grab the thread pull from first two loop so you will have two loop on your hook now grab the thread and pull from next two loop So like this we have decreased one single crochet and in this round we are going to make the decreases like this. Now I am going to place the marker. Then top of next stitch make one single crochet. So we made one decrease one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease same like this take the front loop of next two stitches grab the grab and pull the thread from first two loop then next two loop so one decrease then in next stitch make one single crochet so in this round we are going to repeat this stitches make one decrease then one single crochet then one decrease and one single crochet like this repeat this stitches till your last stitch so at the end of round number eight you will have 12 stitches So round number 8 is done and we have 12 stitches. Now in round number 9, in next stitch, make one single crochet. Then in next stitch, make two single crochet. Then in next stitch, make one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet so in this round we are going to repeat this stitches in next stitch make one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet and repeat one single crochet two single crochet till your last stitch 
so at the end of round number 9 you will have 18 stitches So round number 9 is done and we have 18 stitches and round number 10 in next 2 stitches make 1 1 single crochet after Two single crochet in next stitch make two single crochets so one and one more in same stitch so two so in this round we are going to repeat this stitches in next two stitch make one one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet So like this repeat this stitches make one one single crochet in next two stitch then two single crochet in next stitch and walk till your last stitch so at the end of round number 10 you will have 24 stitches So round number 10 is done and we have 24 stitches. Now from round number 11 to 15 we are going to make one one single crochet in top of each stitch. So at the end of round number 15 you will have 24 stitches. So make one single crochet in top of next stitch. put the marker then in next stitch make one single crochet then in next one so like this make one one single crochet in each stitch and complete round number 11 12 13 14 and 15 so I have completed my 15th round and we get this shape now in round number 16 again we are going to decrease one single crochet so first make one single crochet in next two stitch after two single crochet we are going to make one decrease in next two stitches so again take the front loop of next two stitch now grab and pull from first two loop then next two loop so we made one decrease so in this round we are going to repeat this stitches in next two stitch make one one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease and repeat till your last stitch so at the end of round number 16 you will have 18 stitches
after round number 16 is done and we have 18 stitches now in round number 17 next stitch make one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease then in next stitch make one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease so like this repeat this stitches in next stitch make one single crochet then in next two stitch make one decrease and repeat till your last stitch so at the end of round number 17 you will have 12 stitches So round number 17 is done and we have 12 stitches now just pull this thread and cut with some extra margin now we are going to stuff this gap so once you fill this fiber till this top now we are going to close this gap so take this thread in a needle and what you have to do now we have 12 stitches left so take the front loop of next three stitches in a needle like this one two and three now just pull this needle and pull this thread then take the front loop of next three stitch then next three stitch like this work in remaining stitches and we are going to close this gap So we made the body now we are going to make this wings so take your thread and make a ring leave some extra end and make a magic ring so once you made a ring make chain 5 after chain 5 now skip first chain and in next 4 stitches make 1 1 single crochet four single crochet now in this ring make take your hook and make one slip stitch now make chain one and turn your work so round number one is done and we have four single crochets 
now skip this turning chain and slip a stitch so skip first two stitches and here we are going to work in the back loop of the stitch you can see this stitches has a v shape so this is the front loop of the stitch and this is the back loop of the stitch so we are going to work in back loop of the stitches and going to make four single crochets so skip first two stitch which is your turning chain and slip a stitch and work in next four stitches and work on back loop and make one one single crochet so four single crochets now make chain three Now turn your work, skip first chain and in next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 stitches work in back loop and make 1 1 single crochet. So we have six single crochets now in this ring take your hook and make one slip a stitch now make chain one so our row number two is done now turn your work now skip turning chain and slip a stitch and work in next one two three four five and six stitches and work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total six single crochets so six single crochets now make chain three Turn your work, skip first chain and work in next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 stitches and work in back loop of this stitch and make 1 1 single crochet. So total 8 single crochets. So eight single crochets now again in this ring take your hook and make one slip stitch to complete row number three now make chain one turn skip turning chain and slip a stitch and in next eight stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total eight single crochets after eight single crochets make chain three turn your work skip first chain and in next one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total ten single crochets
10 single crochets now again in this ring take your hook and make one slip a stitch chain one turn your work now skip this turning chain and this slip stitch and in next one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total 10 single crochets So 10 single crochets now make chain 3 turn your work skip first chain and in next 12 stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total 12 single crochets So 12 single crochets now take your hook again in this ring and make one slip stitch chain one turn your work skip turning chain and slip a stitch and in next 12 stitches make one one single crochet work in back loop Now 12 single crochets, now make chain 3, turn your work, now skip first chain and in next 14 stitches, work in back loop and make one one single crochet, so total 14 single crochets. So 14 single crochet now in this ring again take your hook and make one slip stitch chain one turn your work skip turning chain and slip stitch and in next 14 stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total 14 single crochets So 14 single crochets now make chain 3 turn your work skip first chain and in next 16 stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total 16 single crochets
so 16 single crochets now again take your hook in this ring and make one slip stitch now make chain one and pull this thread with some margin and we are going to use this for stitching this wing now just take this loose end of this ring and pull this to close this gap like this we made one wing i'm going to secure this thread now you have to repeat these stitches from round number one to round number seven and make one more pair so you will have two wings like this now we are going to make this tail leave some extra thread and make a magic ring now make chain 9 so after chain 9 skip first chain and in next 8 stitches make one one single crochet so total eight single crochets after eight single crochets take your hook in this ring and make one slip stitch chain one turn your work so our row number one is done now in row number two skip turning chain and slip stitch and in next one two three four five six stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet six single crochets now make chain three turn your work skip first chain and in next eight stitches one two three four five six seven and eight work in back loop and make one one single crochet so total eight single crochets so eight single crochets and round number two is done now take your hook in this ring and make one slip stitch to complete row number two now make chain one turn your work skip turning chain and slip stitch and in next one two three four five six stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet So six single crochets again make chain three turn your work skip first chain and in next eight stitches work in back loop and make one one single crochet
so eight single crochets and row number three is done again take your hook in this ring and make one slip stitch to complete row number three chain one and turn your work so we made three rows same like this repeat this stitches make six single crochets work in back loop then make chain three skip chain one and work in next eight stitches work in back loop and complete row number four five and six so total six rows you have to make like how we made this three rows and at the end once you complete your last row make a slip stitch chain one and pull this loose end to close this ring so at the end this will looks like this so i made total one two three four five and six rows once you complete all three piece and this body now we are going to stitch them together count so this is the bottom from here just count three rows one two and three so on third row we are going to place this here like this i'm going to place this here so like this just arrange them in this sequence and now we are going to stitch them one by one So I have stitched this two wings and this tail to this body. Now we are going to make the eyes. Now count the fifth row from top. So one, two, three, four, five. So in between four and five, place. We are going to make the eyes. Just leave in between two eyes. Leave two stitches. So this bird is done. I hope you have learned from this video. If you have any questions and query, please do let me know in my comment section. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.